teachers, students and colleagues. My name is Dimitri Gishkin Chernov. I'm an opera singer, a tenor and the founder of the Vocal Tips project. Short tips that always have explanation and demonstration, not only talking. And they are here to help mostly professional singers or developed students who are dealing with any kind of technical or musical problems in singing and voice developing. I want to repeat and say again that my vocal tips are mostly for professional singers and developed students, not for beginners. You can watch it, of course, but most of the things that I'm showing requiring a good basics of vocal technique, correct breathing, larynx position, and many, many things are coming with it. If you try to do many of the things I'm showing without this abilities, you may actually harm yourself because your voice is not ready for it and your technique is not developed enough. For any kind of questions, of course, you can write me a private message, subscribe to my channel for more vocal tips, and I hope it will be useful for you. This time I'm going to talk again about warm-up routine and about the passaggio. I believe that passaggio is probably the most important thing that makes us professionals. Controlling passaggio, managing it, dealing with it, is really the basic thing and the most important of the vocal techniques. And so many students are writing me about the high notes, not understanding that without a stable good passaggio, you can forget about high notes unless you just push them, but that's not for long and it never really sounds good. So, I'll give you one exercise of my routine warm-up um, that is again working mostly about the passaggio, but not only. Uh, we're going to do octaves. It's not the first exercise of warming up, of course, but it's an important one. I show it in tenor, TC tour, you can do it in yours. For me, F, Fa is the converting point to start tilting the larynx. I would, don't even want to say cover, it's more tilting the larynx. Um, and let's go. So I will start from me, which is E. It requires attacco del suono. I don't want to start with M like man, ah, ah. We're already on the attacco. The chords are stretched to the position of the note. We breathe. And the point and the reason of this exercise is to sing the low note and several times, and while going up, trying to keep the same simplicity, the same position, the same relaxation and approach, with minimum difference, when we go octave higher. So, here is about not doing too much, and not about doing. singing and here um, the most important is the right respiration inhale and establishing of a very comfortable low note the key word here is comfortable correct and comfortable ah, 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 ah. when I go octave higher I almost lie in tricking myself imagining doing ah, 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 ah. It's like I'm continuing to do the low note. No push, no change, nothing. Then we go to the cover. Ah, 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 ah. The same. I'm tilting, but I'm not going the right or the left direction, which is too bright or too dark. I don't make big changes, I stay on the main road. Too bright would be ah, ah, This is already wrong, it works, but it's narrowing too much, changing the space, changing too much the approach. On the other hand, ah, 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 ah would be to going left. Too much space, too much air, which instead of support becoming to a direction of a push. If you go the right or the left way, it's like leaving the main road. You're going to get, if you're going to get to the high notes, 
in a totally different and not very correct and healthy way. So we're trying to stay on the main road, nothing changes. I will demonstrate it with the whole passaggio. Ah, 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 ah. But in real life, 
we need to have a workable open fa and covered mi, f and e, right? Uh, because when you have, for example, when we stay there and we just have the mi as one note, we would probably stay cover. Or if we jump up and we want to and we want to jump from e from mi, we will already cover it sometimes. For instance, in Naura uh, Morosa, you have two possibilities. Start your jump up to A, you could take it open or you could take it covered. You could do Una dolce. I started open and I covered. You could start it already covered, and maybe for you that that's why it will be easier to get to A securely. That's individual. Una dolce. And opening only under the me. That's very individual, of course, and you can know it just by trying both ways. But you have to have them working. So, for more vocal tips, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you are welcome to open a discussion, to ask openly or in private any questions for any vocal diagnostics consultation. You are welcome to write me an email. All the information is below. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. Oh, <laughs>